Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So what I've got here is my Canon 650D that uh, is recording the audio on my mic, on Lavalier mic and the image at the moment. Right over there uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ150. Right over here I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero, GoPro 3 Hero Black uh, edition and we are recording the screen as well. I just placed a um, just <laughs> a font here named my screen and a background with a signal TV. So if this is a, a subject that matters to you just uh, keep on watching and we will jump right to the video where I'll be sharing with you how we make this transition from camera 1, camera 2 and camera 3 and screen. So this will be theoretically four cameras, uh, one of them being the, the screen that is being recorded. All of them are in 180p, 180p and 180p. So once again, camera 1, camera 2 and camera 3. Let's have a little bit fun and let's jump to the how-to uh, video itself. Okay guys, I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey guys, so now that we have imported all our footage inside, um, in this case to my PC, uh, Windows PC, um, we are ready to start playing around with Premiere and um, start playing around with the multi-camera edit. Uh, this one here, this video here will be for Adobe Premiere. If you are interested in just Final Cut Pro, I will post a link right somewhere around here <laughs> so you can jump to that. Uh, if you want to watch both uh, and see why I'm loving the simplicity of Final Cut Pro 10, uh, you just might want to stick around, check how uh, I work in Adobe Premiere and then check how I work in uh, Final Cut Pro. So the result will be the same or practically, practically the same, um, but different workflow. So hopefully it will help you to decide which software uh, to use or not. Um, and let's jump right to uh, the screen. Uh, one more thing, I'm recording at this moment, I'm recording with two cameras, the Canon and the GoPro, um, along with the, the screen as well, so you know what I'm doing <laughs> right here. The GoPro just to, so you can see better the, the monitors while uh, I'm working. Okay, so let's go and check our folder. So in our folder, I've got the footage from the Canon, the GoPro, the Panasonic and the screen itself. What I'm going to do is import all these to Premiere and there we go. It will create the sound files, the, the peak files and so on. Don't, um, never mind these. Um, it's just for Premiere, not, not for us. So Premiere knows what he's doing. And what we are going to do now is select all of them and right click and select new sequence from clip okay so we yeah, have sorry command z, uh, sorry control z i'm on the pc <laughs> control z uh, that's not what we wanted we want select all of them and create multi-camera source sequence okay and in here we have a few selections uh, we will select audio as our synchronizing point because it's the the one thing that we have in common with all the devices you will need audio to to do this uh, the steps uh, it doesn't matter which camera um, webcam or anything you just have to make sure that it can record audio um, there are some cameras that uses in points and out points and time code and things like that these ones don't these are consumer cameras so um, that's that's why i'm <laughs> making this video so that uh, to show that anyone can with, with the right uh, tools and with the right software, of course, um, deciding which budget you have available for the software and the hardware, 
um, and see how easy it is to to make fun and i'm going to shut up and let's go to so audio is the point that is going to synchronize our footage um, we're going to leave everything as default and press ok okay so now we have a uh, multicam uh, sequence here which if we double click will appear uh, right here and we also want to right click and open in timeline so we have the timeline here and what i can see right now is that uh, i've got my cameras and i've got my audio files actually i have the canon 650d which is my main camera at the moment and from the previous uh, recording that i did for this tutorial so i'm going to leave the order is this one uh, this is the primary camera secondary third and fourth so and the audio will follow as well this will be the audio for the canon this will be the audio for the gopro you can see by uh, video 2, audio 2, audio 3, video 3. So it you can change uh, the layout of this. For me, I will leave it as it is. Uh, one thing that I want to do here is change this and to step 1. So this was our step 1. We uh, created a multicam uh, sequence. Now we're going to right click on our multicam sequence and select new sequence from clip okay so there we go now this uh we're going to rename it to step two so this was our step two and this in, in here that we are going to work with so as you can see me <laughs> running around and pressing rec on all the cameras and then finally watching at the camera and blah, 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 maybe yeah and um okay so what we are going to do next is um, going to the panel options here or the, the dock panel uh, and select multi-camera so this way i've got all my cameras um, available here as you can see this is the canon this is the gopro this is the panasonic and this is um, the screen recording uh, I know that I'd make a few mistakes on the first uh, recording. To edit in Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So, what but what I want at this moment is uh, to see if uh, all the cameras are synchronized and if I play. So what I have here at the moment is my Canon 650D, and right over here I've got my Panasonic. Okay, so I can see that everything is synchronized and ready to uh, to work <laughs> and let's go for it one more thing is as you can see I'm using uh, I've got triple display as you can see but I'm using only two displays for this usually I leave the other one for Mac and when I'm working on a Mac which we will see on the next video uh, I do the same way and leave one for Windows um, and this is the way the way <laughs> I work uh, so now the next step is really really nice well not the next step the next step is to find at which point um, at which point I'm post a link here Corta okay as you can see I said Corta which is cut <laughs> I, I, I did a few mistakes and one of them was pronouncing the name of the GoPro uh, that was not not easy so I had to, to make a few cuts uh, let's go a bit forward and at the moment right over there uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ 150 yeah okay I think it's this one here. so what I've got here is multi-camera editing let's go a little bit back Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Yeah, this is it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut all this. Bring one over here. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so now that I know where uh, I'm starting my scene and obviously if you are doing some videos even if for fun as i as i do these these kind of videos 
uh, you will want a little bit of, of uh, quality on them. So I just cut that piece. And now the way that we are going to work with the cameras is right here on the multicam uh, view. Uh, when I select this, I will do live cuts. Uh, well, live cuts, I don't know if I can call live cuts. Live cut would be a, a live stream and we will cut, but we will do uh, the cuts as we play the video. So let's put it Okay, let's put it at the beginning and we want to start with the Canon. Okay, so let's play around a little bit. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on Adobe Premiere and on Final Cut Pro 10. So what I've got here is my Canon 650D that uh, is recording the audio on my mic, on Lavalier mic and the image at the moment. Right over there uh, I've got my Panasonic FZ150. As you can see I just made this cut and uh, Premiere cutted it. Um, right where I clicked it. So let's skip on a little bit more. Right over here I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero. GoPro 3 Hero Black. Okay, <laughs> I, I made another mistake again here uh, pronouncing the camera but just bear with me and, and let's go along. Uh, edition and we are recording the screen as well. I just placed a uh, just <laughs> a font here named my screen and a background with a signal TV. So if this is a, a subject that matters to you, just uh, keep on watching and we will jump right to the video where I'll be sharing with you how we make this transition from camera one, camera two and camera three and screen. So this will be theoretically four cameras, uh, one of them being the, the screen that is being recorded. All of them are in 180p, 180p and 180p. So once again, camera one, camera two and camera three. Let's have a little bit fun and let's jump to the how to uh, video itself. Okay, guys, I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, and <laughs> that was it. So as you can see, uh, all the cuts have been uh, have been made. And if I go, I can bring, can bring this, oops, bring this over here and make a cut. And of course I can then create another, uh, another clip, another clip and insert my intro and so on. But that's uh, pretty explanatory. So if we check now hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to play around with multi-camera editing on adobe premiere and on final cut pro 10. so what i've got here is my canon 650d that uh, is recording the audio on my mic on lavalier mic and the image at the moment right over there uh, i've got my panasonic fz150 Right over here, I've got my uh, GoPro 3 uh, Hero, GoPro 3 Hero Black uh, edition. And we are recording the screen as well. I just placed a... Okay, so as you can see, uh, no point in <laughs> taking much of your time. Uh, we have all the cuts, everything was nice and smooth. So all we have to do now is um, export this file over here, which is the one that we edited. Uh, before we export, as I said, if you have an intro or something like that, you just want to drag it in and uh, create, the way I work is create a new clip and um, place my uh, intro there and then render the, the whole thing. Uh, one thing that we could do here is uh, if we open up our step one, well, we can open up here uh, and the sound here, we can go to the effects and volume 
and if we go to effect control panel we can decrease a little bit of or maybe too much Carta. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and so today we are going to play around with multi uh, picking as much as it was on uh, if we go here uh, just <laughs> a font here named my screen and a background with a signal TV so if this is a, a subject that matters to you just uh, okay so just a hint that we can control a little bit of the audio to be honest sometimes I forgot about that and then I burn out <laughs> your ears guys if you like this video and you want to watch uh, some more videos similar to this in Premiere, Final Cut, Motion 5 or After Effects thumbs up and um, I accept suggestions uh, not all of them but, but I hear, I listen uh, so if you have a suggestion to make just go ahead and do it and if it's possible to me I will make it and now finishing this up we will go to the Final Cut Pro 10 have some more uh, fun Thanks for watching and my name is Roberto George. Bye bye.